Let's demonstrate how you place fillers in a drawing. In front of us, we have a small kitchen, and we have two areas for fillers. We have an area to the right, which is in between two cabinets, and then we have a filler space to the left, which is in between a cabinet and a wall. The reason we have two different areas here is there's two different methods for placing fillers. One when it's between items and one when it's between an item and a wall. First, if I wanted to place a filler between the base 18, and I'll zoom in on this just a little bit by rolling my wheel forward, the base 18 and the base corner 36, we will go to our drag and drop menu. I am in my cabinet menu and I will scroll down to near the bottom and find fillers. Fillers have their own category. I'll double click on fillers and you'll see that fillers are divided up into bases and walls and talls and vanities and so on. We will double click on base filler. It'll give me a list of all the base fillers that your manufacturer offers. We will choose standard base fillers. I will choose a BF3 and I will hold my left hand button down on the filler and while holding it down, drag it until I place the tip of the arrow in between the two cabinets where the filler should be. Now, I want to point something out here. What's important to you is where the tip of the arrow is because the tip of the arrow is what indicates where items will be placed. And if I let this go with the tip of the arrow in the opening, the filler is placed and it's actually trimmed to fit. My three inch filler has now been trimmed automatically to fit that space. Let's move to the left and place a filler in a corner. While you're in a zoomed in mode, you can always hold the wheel down on your mouse and pan by just simply moving the mouse to the right. I can pan and look to the left. When working in corners with fillers, I recommend that you place fillers a different way. What I recommend you do is, is open up an elevation and place your filler in the elevation mode. In order to open up the elevation, left click in the workspace, right click on your floor plan and choose elevation, and just like on the floor plan, I can roll the wheel forward and zoom in on that space. I'm going to hold my left button down on the BF3, I'm going to drag the filler over and again place the tip of the arrow in the open space and let it go. And once again, and you can see this demonstrated on the screen, when I dropped my filler in the open space, it actually trimmed it to fit.